Hey, this is Ross, and it's an early morning here in September in Pennsylvania, Zone 7A. And today I want to talk to you guys about pinching your fig trees and why you should do it, your, my experiences and what I've heard from other people and what I think works best. Now, there's two reasons to pinch. One, you want to induce some fruiting in your trees. You want to get that fruiting going. And that should be done 90 to 120 days before your first frost. If it's done any later than that, you're not going to get the fruit. You're not. Um, if I were to pinch here in the middle of August, that's too late. That's way too late. I'm not going to get any fruit off those trees. Why? Because my first frost date is October 25th, late October. So if I pinch somewhere in July, the middle of July, and I get those figlets forming in the middle of July, that's what I want because that gives me 90 days before my first frost. And even then it might not be enough. Maybe I have a really long ripening cultivar like Black Madeira that takes maybe 100 days or Cavallari that takes you know well over that. You want to make sure that you're inducing that fruiting early. The other reason is to in, induce some branching on your tree, to get a permanent structure in your tree. Why do you want a permanent structure in your tree? To increase the productivity of your tree. It's that simple. If I have scaffolds down here, if I have two scaffolds coming out and these are the permanent structure of my tree, I can constantly keep coming back to this. And these buds will come out every year and send out shoots that will give me my fruit. I suggest you only pinch for branching on a young tree. This is a young tree here. I grew this one from cutting. It's called JH Adriatic. And now it's about three feet tall. And what I did was I actually pinched this thing way down here. I like to induce the branching pretty low on the tree. I, help it, I, I know it helps the tree grow quicker. It also, I like the size of the tree when it's induced lower on the, on the tree. And I'm only growing these in five gallon containers. I don't want my trees to get gigantic. The larger they get, the harder it is for these things to maintain themselves in such a small rooting environment. So I want to keep my trees small. I do. What I did was I, I induced the, the uh, branching and look what happened. It sent out a shoot here. It sent out a shoot on the other side over here. And then it sent out this long stem here, which I inevitably, I didn't like these two, so I cut them off. They weren't growing very well. So I just stuck with the main leader here and let this thing grow. Now, if I were to pinch this today, it's about three feet tall. I think that's pretty good growth for its first year from a cutting that I, st I really didn't start this thing too early too. So if I were to pinch this thing right now, what do you guys think what would happen? There's a few options here. It could only do the same thing it did before where it induced branching again and I would get a structure coming out this way and this way and back towards me. Or I would get fruit. Now you can see in here, this node I only really see a leaf node. I only I don't see two. I don't see a fruit. There should be a fruit and a leaf node. So if I pinch this, I think there's a good chance that I will only get leaf nodes. But then again, I thought the same thing with the tree right next to it, and it's about the same height. It's about three feet tall. But I pinched it lower down here, which induced the branching that I wanted. So I came up. I have these two shoots now. And I thought, wow, this is at a good height. It's doing really well, I'm gonna pinch it. So I pinched it here, and I pinched it here. But look what happened here. You can see this leaf node versus the other leaf node. There's two things going on here. One on the right is the fig. That's the fig coming out right now. And it's early September. The one on the left is a leaf node. I don't want figs coming out right now. <laughs> you know, this is a mistake. I never should have pinched this thing. Any fig that forms right now is not going to ripen in time. You know, I don't have a greenhouse. In October, late October, these things are going to go dormant. And I only have like a month and a half left for this thing to ripen. And it's just not going to happen. It isn't. So <clears throat> that's my recommendation. And that's what I've learned is that if you're going to pinch, only pinch to induce fruiting. If you are going to pinch to induce branching, then it should be done very early in the season like I did on this tree. 
and like I did on this tree right here with the two branches coming out. So that's what I've learned and I hope you guys have learned something and I really do believe, I firmly believe that pinching is the way to go to induce fruiting. If you're not doing that by now, I strongly recommend that you do that and at least experiment with one of your trees right now. You know, pinch this tree off and see what happens. It only took me one week for this tree to start producing figlets. And if you're not, you're still not getting fruit even though you're pinching, it's highly recommended that if you're not getting fruit, you give the, you give the tree phosphorus. And by giving it phosphorus, it's going to give it the nutrients that it needs to produce those figs. In the beginning of the season, you should be giving the fertilizer heavy in nitrogen. And then once the season transitions into July in my area and late June in my area, you should start giving the tree some phosphorus, a fertilizer, a fertilizer heavy in, in phosphorus because that's going to give the tree the nutrients it needs to produce those figs so that when you, when you pinch, right before you pinch, it has all that nutrients it needs. Hopefully the tree is at an appropriate age and you're going to get the figs that you want. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have learned something. Again, this is Ross. Have a good day.